This tutorial will show you how to get started with Slack for our Latin American history class. Uh, this is the first time that I'm using uh, Slack for a course online. Um, it does have the promise of being more efficient and connected than Blackboard's discussion board. That's the reason I'm trying it out. I've done a lot of research on it and have done a lot of trial use with it uh, prior to bringing it here to you in this class. Uh, but I did want to point out that if anything doesn't seem to be working quite right or seem strange, please just let me know because uh, it's probably something I can fix. You'll notice we're not in Slack yet. This is the um, homepage for our course in CNM Learn or Blackboard. From here, to get to Slack, you can either click here on this Slack discussion link. That will not take you to the discussion board in Blackboard, but it will take you to our course in Slack. Um, but this one only works if you've already signed up. Um, at least I believe that's the way I've set it up. So if we scroll down here, you'll notice this link. Um, join us on Slack. And I've put this a couple other places as well, but here's an easy one to use to get to and to get started. So click this, and this will take you to the place that you need to go to sign up to get into our course um, workspace on Slack. They call them workspaces. Yep, so here it is. Um, our workspace is LTAM 1110. Um, so you just need to enter your email address. Um, it's best if you use your CNM address for this, but um, it should work you know, no matter what email address you use. If you would rather have your Slack stuff going to a different one, that's fine. I created the Slack account with my CNM address, so I'm actually going to use my uh, Gmail address here to show this off. So let's type that in, click Verify Email, and then we have to check email. Hopefully, I don't have anything crazy in there. Um, but I'll just go over to my Gmail account. Um, let's see. Here it comes. All right, so right there, um, confirm email. So again, this is just making sure that you actually own the email address that you have claimed to be yours uh, for Slack. And you'll also notice it opened a new tab um, for this. So um, this actually already filled this in because I've done this once before, so I'm going to have to change this to my, um, let's see, my display name. Aha. So, see, I told you this is new to me. I'm having to remember what I did. Um, so the display name that I use is actually Prof Morgan. For this one, I'll just do, um, it gave me an option there, Brandon underscore Morgan. Um, on Slack, you can't use spaces. You have to use things like underscore and period. Um, but I'll put in my full name, and please do that as well. Um, and this, I'll put Brandon Morgan 1, because there's already a Brandon Morgan in Slack, as you'll see. Um, but I've set it so that it will show our full names, um, so that I know who you are, so I can give you credit for all your work that you're doing, and there's no confusion. Um, I'm going to create a password. It can be whatever you like, as long as it matches those um, terms there. I don't want emails about the Slack service, so I'm going to get rid of that and click Next. Now I review the terms of service, as with so many other things. I don't even read them. And um, I don't want it to save this, because I want my other account to work. You'll notice I got a uh, notification there. I'll tell you about that in just a second. So you can use Slack on your computer through a browser. Right now I'm on a MacBook using Google Chrome. When you first get in here, it will let you explore Slack. Um, I'm going to skip the tutorial. You can use the tutorial if you want. Um, you'll notice here it says download the Slack app, for, uh, Mac app, I should say. Um, so that's a download to your computer if you want to just have Slack there rather than having to go to your browser for it. The functionality is essentially the same. Um, I'm going to swing over there real quick to show you here I am in Slack. This is me signed in as the instructor, and you'll notice that Brandon Morgan 1, the guy I just signed in as, um, is there. I could now direct message him. As you sign up, uh, this will fill up uh, for everyone that's involved in our course with all of our names so that you can see everyone um, and you can send messages uh, to one another um, or to me via Slack. And that's something you don't necessarily have to use, but it's available there for you. Um, the Slack bot, I'll click on Slack bot real quick. The Slack bot is sort of like a helper. 
that explains new um, improvements or new modifications that have been made. So here it's telling me that um, I joined via the invite link. So I'll get one of these for every one of you that joins um, so that I can see when people joined. Also, you can use the Slack bot. You can type, um, it's like the help feature, I guess I should say. So you can just ask it questions and it will try to help you out if you don't know how to do something. All right, so let me go back over. That was the Slack for Mac. Um, I'm gonna do this. Um, and so here we are back signed in in my Gmail. Hopefully that wasn't confusing because I'm not meaning for this to be confusing. Um, but here you'll see the channels for the course. Um, I'm gonna have to fix the numbering there. I will fix the numbering there. Um, I'm gonna make people number two, discussions three and then four and five and so on. Um, I had to put numbers there because it orders these alphabetically. Um, I wanted syllabus to be at the top, so you'll have access to all of these channels when you get in here. The syllabus and those kinds of things, of course, are in Blackboard, but they're also here. Um, you can use Slack on your mobile devices as well. Um, the mobile apps are really great. So if you get Slack on your phone, for example, and you realize, wait, I need to look at the syllabus real quick, you could easily access it here, whereas the Blackboard app uh, not so much. Uh, it doesn't work that easily or efficiently. Um, they have a lot of work to do to improve that. So here you can have access to that quickly. Um, discussions, that's where we're going to do most of our work. I haven't really posted anything in there yet. Um, as you'll see, um, this is the place where I will post questions for you as outlined in the Slack discussions assignment um, information that you'll find via the syllabus or inside our course at Blackboard. Uh, people is an important one, though, and remember, I'm going to keep this one as number two. This is where you do your introduction to the class. Um, so as you can see here, there's kind of a brief description. You won't have editing power, but I do, of uh, what this is. Um, so you can uh, um, see what this is for, and that's at the top of all the channels. If you scroll up, you can also get a longer version of um, what we're doing Excuse me, with this particular channel. Um, so this one is, um, let's see, this, so this tells you the purpose of it, I should say. Um, and what I've written here is just what you should tell us in your introductions. Um, as you'll read in the learning module that will bring you here, um, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, tell us what you're studying, what your interests are in Latin America, where you've been, if anywhere in Latin America, or if not, where you'd like to go, that sort of thing. Um, but you'll notice you can post videos here. Um, and I would encourage you to do that if you would like to. You can earn some extra credit points for that. It's not required, but you can do that if you'd like. And it's really easy to do in Slack. Um, so what I did is I made a video on my computer, and then I uploaded it to YouTube, and I shared it. So I just grabbed the URL for the video, and all I did was uh, copied it and pasted it right in here as I was writing this little blurb, and it automatically inserted this uh, thumbnail video um, viewer. So it's as easy as that. You just have to paste the URL into what you're typing, and then when you're done and you uh, click save or enter, um, it'll be just like this. Then to re reply to people, you can either um, use this button. It'll say start a thread. That's if you want to just kind of directly reply to me. Or if you want to just reply to everyone, you use the bar down here. Also, I should say, when you post your introduction, that's all you'll do. So you'll come here, you'll scroll down, and you'll just start typing. Um, here's my introduction to you all. Hi. I'm going to hit enter. And so you'll see now that Brandon Morgan 1, my alter ego that I just set up, um, has also completed the introduction. You know, again, of course, you need to do something more like this one, um, but just to show you how this works. Um, we have these other um, channels that I'll have information about, but if you know how to use a channel, and that's what I'm showing you here, um, that's really all you need to know about Slack. Um, I'll be monitoring our discussions. Uh, please do read over the netiquette guide that uh, you can get to via the syllabus or uh, elsewhere in our CNM Learn class, um, because that will explain just kind of the, the rules for using the discussion board and how to interact with each other. Um, you know, of course, we're not going to be demeaning or degrading to one, each other, to one another, uh, but instead hopefully build a community here where we can share ideas. Uh, we can disagree and we should disagree um, at times with one another. There's nothing wrong with that. 
We just need to make sure we do it in a collegial um, and still respectful way. So um, let's see what else to say. That's pretty much what we're going to be doing here. So we'll be doing discussions. You can get access to the syllabus. Um, I will be creating one more channel called announcements. I do post announcements fairly regularly, uh, but I'll be posting them here so that you can get notifications if you want to. That's one other thing I wanted to tell you about. I'm glad I kept talking. Um, so if you click here on this little arrow by LTAM 1110, um, this will show you that you can sign out of this. Um, it'll give you your profile. You can go to your profile and account. Um, this is an old photo that I don't actually know how it grabbed onto that one, but that's okay. Um, so here's where you can edit your profile, add a photo, um, and other information about yourself. Um, so that's how you change that. Your preferences are important, or you can also set yourself to away. Um, but again, preferences are important because here's where you can set up the notifications you'll get. And this is especially important um, when you're using uh, Slack, uh, either in the desktop version, because you notice I got a notification that popped up, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, when I created this new account. Um, but also, you can um, set up, let me see where it is. Do not disturb times. Um, so this is important because we all have lives. And, I'm, and I know that there are times that I don't want to be disturbed. Uh, my do not disturb is from 8 to 8. Um, that means I won't get notifications um, from Slack if you post things or ask me a question uh, via Slack in that time frame. You can set that up uh, for you as well, just whatever works for you uh, when you would like to not have notifications. Um, and then you can go down and change your sounds, and there's all sorts of different things that you can play with and change. Um, but you do have some of that authority uh, to make changes. Um, something you cannot do, and I'm going to have to see about this. Um, I don't know that I'm supposed to be able to edit that, so I might have to find that setting. Um, you cannot create a new channel. You'll notice there's no plus there. Um, you can send direct messages to each other. Um, so that's something that uh, is open for you here if you need it um, on Slack. All right, so you can tell that I this is the first time I've made a Slack tutorial. I wanted to make sure I covered everything, so I keep pausing. I believe I have. Please let me know what questions you have as you get going, and I look forward to working with all of you here.